Hi, I'm Julie Mordecai and I'm director of the Rio Grande Healthy Living Park and we're having a work day here at the Rio Grande Healthy Living Park. Hi, I'm Alexandra Pipitone. I'm a committee member for the Rio Grande Healthy Living Park as well as lead for the Media Action Group. And we're here on this beautiful, gorgeous afternoon on the park with so many wonderful volunteers helping to clean and weed. Um, we've had a lot of really exciting things going on this summer. Uh, activity on the land during Summerfest in conjunction with the city of Alamosa. We've also had a couple other smaller work days where community members have helped us plant the orchard, fence in the orchard. We've also finalized, expanded, and fenced in the um, Guatemalan garden plots. So we're really excited about all the activity happening on the land this summer. To celebrate something that's pretty incredible, the Lore Foundation donated $700,000 to uh, purchase the Rio Grande Healthy Living Park. We had a local lender that we'll be able to pay back. Uh, Great Outdoors Colorado, which is a, a funded through lottery funds. They give out money for parks and they also give out money for open space and uh, you have to write a grant and we, our grant was funded, Trust for Public Land wrote both the Lore Foundation grant and the GOCO grant. And that GOCO grant will now help us to be able to transfer the trails that are along the dike to uh, the city of Alamosa through a, an easement, a trail easement. So we're very excited about that. Uh, and then on September 19th, we will be having our harvest soiree, and it's called Tapas on the Rio. So save the date for this really great event. SLV Local Foods Coalition, the Rio Grande Healthy Living Park, hosting the now third annual harvest soiree. 12 to 5. 12 we'll to have five. live music, local food, 99% of the food will be local and we hope to have a fantastic afternoon here at the Rio Grande Healthy Living Park. You can get business um, sponsorships if you go to our website. So you can purchase single tickets and single tickets come in two different values. One at a higher level just that allows you to donate more to the park. One at a smaller level that allows you to still get a ticket and be loved here just as much. And then different corporate sponsorship levels or business partnership levels. I'm super excited about this project because it's taking into account a lot of what the community is envisioning and it's looking like through our public process that it'll have a really strong ag bent. Uh, it'll be a place to gather and our next planning process is in September as well. We'll be bringing uh, the community together to see the master plan. It's pretty exciting. We are so fortunate to be surrounded by such talented community members um, that bring their expertise and their passion into this project and join this excellent effort. <laughs> Thank you. That's September 19th? Yep. Save Tapas. the date. Top is not topless. <laughs> <laughs> Cause in the blooper reel. <laughs>